welcome to a new episode of Cultural Magazine, where we bring you the latest events taking place around the nation. Let's go take a look at today's episode. The Ministry of Culture and the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities celebrate the 200th anniversary of the uh, deciphering of ancient Egyptian writing or hieroglyphics and the emergence of Egyptology by holding a number of temporary archaeological and cultural exhibitions, events and promotion campaigns that are launched on the Ministry's websites on various social media platforms to highlight the importance of hieroglyphics, the ancient Egyptian language. The Rosetta Stone, one of the world's most famous ancient artifacts and arguably the best known object at the British Museum, is the star of a new exhibition celebrating 200 years since a French scholar cracked the code of the Egyptian hieroglyphics. Among the awareness campaigns is one under the title Learn About a Treasure in Your Governorate uh, to shed light and introduce citizens to the most important and distinguished artifacts discovered within each of the Egyptian governorates. This comes in addition to the uh, ancient Egyptian language campaign which highlights the most important signs and symbols of hieroglyphic writing, its meaning and what it represents in nature from humans, animals, birds, plants and others. To celebrate this occasion, the ministry holds a number of exhibitions at the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir, including a temporary display of antiquities that showcase a selection of artifacts that shed light on the Egyptian uh, civilization. The exhibit also contains a photo exhibition of Egyptian antiquities during the 19th century to display a group of uh, archival photos from the Egyptian Antiquities Registration Center and the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir. This is in addition to a second photo exhibition with a participation of foreign archaeological missions operating in Egypt where a set of banners and posters highlighting Egypt's role in the emergence of civilization are displayed. The Minister of Culture participates in these celebrations by organizing two exhibitions at the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Fustat, one on rare documents uh, for deciphering the Rosetta Stone from the uh, National Archives, and the other is on rare pictures in Egypt from Lenhart and Landrock. It is worth noting that the Rosetta Stone dates back to 196 BC when it was found by uh, chance by soldiers in the army of Napoleon in uh, 1799 while excavating foundations to add a fortress near the uh, city of Rosetta in the Delta. It is part of a larger stone which was found broken and incomplete. After the failure of Napoleon uh, Bonaparte's uh, colonial ambitions in Egypt, the stone became the property of Britain under the terms of the Treaty of Alexandria in 1801, along with other antiquities found by the French during their stay in Egypt. The stone was later transported to England, and in 1802, it was displayed in the British Museum in London. 
The Rosetta Stone was deciphered by the French archaeologist Jean-Francois Champillon in 1822, as he had preceded several attempts to decipher these symbols. Within the celebrations of the 200th anniversary of the deciphering of ancient Egyptian writing or hieroglyphics and the emergence of Egyptology, a ceremony was held on this occasion in Rashid where the Rosetta Stone with hieroglyphic inscriptions was first discovered. Under the patronage of the Minister of Culture, Dr. Nevir Kilani, uh, Dr. Ahmed Isa, the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, and the head of the Cairo Opera House, Dr. Magdi Sober, uh, the first session of the Rashid Festival for Music and Singing was launched in the new port of Rashid. It is noteworthy that the uh, Rashid Festival for Music and Singing is organized by the Ministry of Culture, represented by the Cairo Opera House, in cooperation with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, represented by the uh, Tourism Promotion Authority and the Behera Governorate. The audience uh, was under the patronage of the Minister of Culture, Dr. Nevir Kilani, uh, Dr. Ahmed Isa, the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, and the head of the Cairo Opera House, Dr. Magdi Sober. Uh, the first session of the Rashid Festival for Music and Singing was launched in the new port of Rashid. It is noteworthy that the uh, Rashid Festival for Music and Singing is organized by the Ministry of Culture, represented by the Cairo Opera House, in cooperation with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, represented by the uh, Tourism Promotion Authority and the Behera Governorate. The audience uh, was greeted respectively by the marimba player Nisma Abdelaziz and her band, the artist Mustafa Amr and his band, the stars of the Cairo Opera Band, the artist Nisma Mahgoub and her band, the Youth and Children Choir of the Talent Development Center, along with the renowned singer Hisham Abbas with his band. Opera House, a cultural hub here in Egypt where we see a lot of different art forms uh, taking part or taking place right here in the Cairo Opera House. So let's go find out more about what the Opera House has in store for us. The Cairo Opera House, headed by Dr. Magdi Sober, presents the first foreign performances in the new artistic season 2022-23 as it hosts nine ballet stars in the most prestigious specialized theaters in four countries, France, Italy, Ukraine, 
and Russia, who present three performances in Cairo and Alexandria at the Grand Theater and at Sayyid Darwis Theater at the Alexandria Opera House. The program includes a collection of renowned scenes of classical and modern ballet duets, including Zorba, Swan Lake, Don Quixote, Shahrazad, and many others. Today we have a uh, classic shedevra, I don't know, uh, cl classic uh, Russian parts, Swan Lake, Shahirizad, Don Quixote, and many, many good parts. It is noteworthy that the art of ballet appeared in Russia during the reign of Tsarina in the late 17th century. He has brought from France Yapis Landi, the most famous ballet coach at the time.
The first ballet school was opened in St. Petersburg in 1735, and its students were restricted to children from the court, after which Andy submitted a petition to the Tsar asking to train a number of young people, and his petition was accepted, which later formed the modern ballet school that spread onto Europe, uh, which was later built. Yeah, we have a perfect team for different countries, Italian, Italian, French, Russian, Ukraine, now all is professional. After his death, a state of stagnation passed for this art, which later returned to prosperity at the hands of Maurice Petipa, who worked on its progress. This period is considered one of the most important stages of ballet in Russia. The Cairo Opera House starts out its artistic season this year with a distinguished international ballet gala performance with dancers from different European countries such as uh, Russia, Italy, France and Ukraine. This is Abhita Gindi for the Cultural Magazine at the Cairo Opera House. long-standing history of recognizing its artists and awarding them and celebrating them. Let's go find out more about how the nation has celebrated these artists. The Arab Music Ensemble, which is now called the Abdel Hamim Noera Ensemble, is a musical ensemble founded in 1967 by the maestro Abdel Halim Noera and the musician Ahmed Shafi Abouf. And the establishment uh, under the name the Arabic Music Ensemble to revive authentic musical heritage 
various musical and lyrical templates for Arab music audience and concierge, as well as an opportunity for contemporary composers to present their good productions of traditional music. <laughs> Ensemble was from its start led by Abdul Halim Nouera until his death in 1985. Thereafter, the ensemble was renamed Abdul Halim Nouera Ensemble for Arab Music. The performance of the National Band for Arab Music began to glow, as it was betting on collecting musical and lyrical heritage and reintroducing it in an advanced academic and scientific style. And that was a major factor in the brilliance of the band since the first day of its establishment. The National Cultural Center, the Egyptian Opera House, guaranteed the establishment of the band and its sponsorship under the supervision of two flags of Arab music, Ratiba Al-Hifni and Maestro Salim Sahar. Soon, the star of the band rose up after presenting its first show as it quickly began to win prizes, the first of which was the Babylon Music Festival in 1989, 40 days after the band was founded. Silver medal among the 45 countries that participated in the festival. The band currently has more than 100 members, including musicians, singers, technicians, and administrators. The band often invites top Arab singers to perform solo in celebrations. participated in dozens of international foreign festivals, such as the Carthage Festival in Tunis in 1919, the Hariri Road Festival in Japan 1991, the Glowing Festival in France in 94, the Tier Festival in Lebanon 97, 
the Quran Festival in Kuwait in 98, the independent celebration of Abu Dhabi in 99, uh, the centenary of Umm Kulthum in the Arab World Institute in Paris of 2001, and uh, the Rabat Festival in Morocco also in 2001. And the band also presented its art shows in the Royal Hall in Britain in 1997. Although the national band for Arab music is distinguished and very famous, it is not the first Egyptian band that belongs to the Egyptian cultural establishment. The group was established before it was founded by the musician Abdel Haim Nouera in 1967 and led it until his death in 1985. Then the band was named after him after his departure in his honor. It includes about 50 male and female singers that would distinguish voices and includes 40 musicians. They have traveled to many countries and participated in many festivals. They are also known for providing poems, roles, beats and theatrical tunes. Abdel Halim Nouera had also founded the Religious Counseling Ensemble in 1972 and at the time, Sheikh Mohammed Fayoumi and Abdel Samia Bayoumi were tasked with memorizing the members of the band with the works of uh, the songs of the Imam of old ministerials such as Sheikh Ali Mahmoud, Sheikh Ismail Soufkar, Sheikh Sayyid Musa, Sheikh Darwish Al Hariri and others. Then, he commissioned musician Abdel Halim Hariri to present it in a modern way. There are now about 30 singers and 40 musicians in the religious ensemble. In 2004, another specialized group, the Arab Music Band for Heritage, was established. All of these groups perform regularly on the Egyptian stage. to the end of this episode of Cultural Magazine. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more on Nile TV.